Okay, people, today I'm showing you three totally delicious five ingredient recipes that are super simple, fast to make, they're delicious and healthy, and of course they're vegan and gluten-free as usual. Also, they're the perfect recipes for you if you like to get handsy with your food. <laughs> like me. I'm talking zucchini bows, we've got lettuce wraps, we even have a delicious fajita recipe. That all sounds good to you. Make sure you're subscribed below because I post these kinds of videos all the time. So let's get right into these recipes. I love me a good crunchy lettuce wrap and that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to make with, of course, five ingredients. Really all you need to make a good lettuce wrap when you're feeling lazy is your favorite bottle of barbecue sauce because we're just going to be quick Quickly tossing up some shredded tofu and some barbecue sauce and the rest is like psh, so easy. So let's get into these super simple lettuce wraps. Okay friends, I can hardly call this a recipe but we're gonna roll with it and we're just gonna do this thing. So you're gonna first start by shredding up one block of extra firm tofu on the largest whole side of a box grater. Then you're just gonna hop over to your stove, heat up a little bit of water and barbecue sauce, pretty much equal parts of both. And then you're going to whisk that together and you're gonna warm it up until it gets nice and hot and steamy. Once it's hot, you're gonna add in your shredded tofu and you're basically just going to cook that over medium heat until the tofu has absorbed all the barbecue sauce it will only take a few minutes or so and you can always add some more barbecue sauce if you want it to be saucier than what you see here I did exactly that and then basically just cook it to your liking you can make it as caramelized as you wish so sweet so sticky so good then go on and shred up one medium carrot and you're gonna dice up one small avocado and that's basically your recipe all you have to do now is just stuff a few lettuce leaves with some of that delicious barbecue tofu filling top it with that fresh grated carrot and some cubed avocado and you have yourself a super super quick 10 minute meal with only five ingredients I can easily knock back like four or five of those lettuce wraps by myself they're just so flipping good you guys you gotta try them I'm on a boat a zucchini boat that is zucchini boats are basically just stuffed zucchinis and they are so delicious I'm gonna be using chickpeas in this recipe but you can use any other bean that you have on hand or any bean that you like all you gotta do is mash it up with a few delicious seasonings and flavorings I'm keeping mine super basic but basic can be so delicious and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so let's get into it oh the wonderful things that can be done with the humble can of chickpeas my friends so let's make some zucchini boats now we're gonna cook up some quinoa half a cup of quinoa plus one cup of water will do you just fine and then while that's cooking we're going to prepare our zucchini so you're gonna need two pretty big honkin zucchinis as you see here and then if you want to use a melon baller or just a really good round spoon like mine here I'm just using a measuring spoon core out the center of the zucchinis removing most of the flesh and all the seeds but don't throw it out because we're gonna be using the zucchini guts in this recipe so just haul them out as you see here and set aside the guts and then once your zucchinis are nice and hollowed out you're just gonna pop them onto a lined baking tray give them a little light spritz of oil and pre-bake them while the zucchinis are baking we're going to take all of those zucchini bits the guts and we're going to just very roughly chop it up until it looks something like this and we're going to saute it down with a little bit of oil salt and pepper until pretty much all of the liquid has evaporated we really want to draw out as much of the water from the zucchini as possible so we don't have a super mushy zucchini boat once we stuff them this will take about 10 to 15 minutes or so which is perfect because that's how long zucchinis will be in the oven for in the meantime you can pulse up a can of chickpeas in a food processor add your Dijon mustard add the green onion and the cooked zucchini now this is also when you would put the quinoa in but me in my infinite wisdom completely forgot to add the quinoa so don't do that please add the quinoa uh, it's okay if you forget like I do you're still gonna get a totally delicious looking zucchini bow as you can see here without the quinoa it still looks super hearty and delicious very much like a tuna salad type situation but whatever it's all good top it off with some vegan cheese if you wish it's not necessary but is definitely delicious and then bake them up in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is nice and melted the filling has gotten nice and golden and crispy around the edges and it's gonna smell so good these were very filling and satisfying and if you add the quinoa as the recipe calls for these will be even more filling and satisfying and hearty there's really no way to mess this up even though I did mess it up I really didn't mess it up because it was still so delicious so satisfying and oh my gosh it was just an absolute flavor bomb 
Sheet pan fajitas. Now this is nothing new to my channel here. I make sheet pan fajitas all the time, but you guys, if you didn't know how easy they were to make, they're truly one of the easiest, laziest, cheapest meals you can throw together. To me, there's seriously nothing quite as convenient as dumping a bunch of vegetables with spices on a sheet pan, walking away and coming back 40 minutes later with a delicious meal that I can transform into burrito bowls or fajita bowls, fajitas, and just a whole bunch of other delicious things. So let me show you how to make my favorite sheet pan fajitas. You only need four main ingredients plus spices and oil to make these super budget friendly sheet pan fajitas. So let's go. Start by slicing lengthwise three large bell peppers. I used green, red, and yellow because color is the spice of life. I don't know, I think I just made that up. Next, we're gonna do the exact same thing with some mushrooms. I did half a pound of white mushrooms here. You can also use brown mushrooms, whatever is fine. And then again, slice up lengthwise half of a large red onion and then choose a plant-based protein. I here used about half a package of soy curls that I soaked, but if you don't have soy curls or can't access them where you live, tempeh or extra firm tofu would be fine. Now I didn't have quite enough room for this to fit all in one sheet band, so move them over to two if that's what you need to do so things cook properly and they don't just steam. You want things to crisp up nicely and get golden brown. Then add your spice blend. All the spices I have listed below in the video description for you. Add those in and then mix everything together with your hands. Make sure each vegetable piece is completely coated in a delicious blend. And then we're just going to pop that in the oven, bake it for about 30 minutes until it comes out looking something like this. Your veggies should be nice, roasted, golden brown on the edges. Same with the soy curls. It's going to smell so good. Now that your fajita veggies have finished baking, this is just the beginning of the fun. Now you can decide how you want to enjoy them. You can turn this into a delicious, nourishing fajita bowl with a cooked grain like quinoa on the bottom with some fresh greens or any other veggies you like. Or if a handheld wrap or burrito type situation is calling your name, you can absolutely do that. Just add in your favorite favorite toppings and mix-ins like sour cream, salsa, lime juice, fresh veggies, and fill it up with those delicious fajita veggies. This is so, so good. And it makes for great meal prep, great leftovers. I just freaking love this recipe. There's so many options. I kid you not, after I filmed this recipe video for you guys, I made another batch of these fajitas the next day because these were so good. Brad and I literally devoured all of this food that you see here in one night. So good, so delicious. Hey look, I made a smiley face. Like this video, subscribe below, check out this delicious casseroles video right here, another great option for lazy weeknight meals, or you can check out these five ingredient recipes in this video here. Thanks for watching, peace.